What? Another Hermitcraft live stream? Say it isn't so. Say it isn't. It isn't so. I just said it. Uh, Spexius, welcome back. Thank you for the 11 month resub, duder. Appreciate you dropping that resub during the intro. Uh, hello, Tunk Root, Nature Boy, TRKM, Tin Tovi, Neptune, uh, Polaris, JVDK. 40 the boss, Karulin, Magic Ninja, Nigel, I see you there, MK Shark, feels like it's been a while, welcome back, um, Hippin Dallin, hello, welcome, first time chatter, Neptune, hello Neptune, You love the fact that I'm streaming more now. It's great to hear and watch the stream while you make some homework in the PC. Yeah, I kind of got burned out of streaming. Streaming over the weekend, digging out the big, the big dig project. I try and stream more than one day a week. Try to. I pressed the button. All right, uh, let's do it. Jump on the server. There is a lot of people. There's an Azuma, a Cub fan, a Vintage Beef, a False, a Doc, and an Impulse. Lots of peeperinos on the server. Nurse Ratchet just resubscribed for 24 months. Happy anniversary. Hey, you Mr. Can't. Mr. Nurse Ratchet, welcome back, dude. Thank you so much for the two-year resub. Dropping a tier two. Thanks, dude. So yes, if you guys did not see my last video, after our big dig here, I went ahead and I, I built us a mob farm. I did the thing. It actually works pretty good. You can see there's a bunch of mobs there, all getting flushed down. Mm -hmm. Yep, this farm works actually rather well. If I'm in the right location, where I'm standing right here is not the right location. That would be up there in this glass box. Um, but yeah, this is, this is fantastic. Like it doesn't have to work at peak efficiency all the time, but as long as we're collecting mobs all the time, even if it's a slow trickle, that's better than not having a mob farm at all. Now, the thing is, I still don't have a collection system set up for this. And that's something that I'd like to work on. So I can actually start getting the gunpowder. That's... Gunpowder and string, those are the, the two main things. Bone is also pretty good. Run flesh don't care too much about. Arrows I don't care too much about. Uh, witch drops are nice, but again, they're not something I care too much about. Uh, so I want to set up a sorting, right? And since the items are coming in, normally if you do like a sorting system, you want to have some kind of a regulated timer thing that spits out like one item, like one one item per second very very slowly or whatever it is what i'd like to do is something a little bit faster kind of um kind of like what they do with the nether farms where you let all the items group up and then you send them all at once so they're already in stacks so the hoppers can just pick up the stack at a time and then like stop it so like no other items come after that and then it waits for a little bit and then it sends them all i kind of want to do something like that I haven't really thought about this, like, too much, how this is actually going to work. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where my thought is right now. Do I plan on upgrading to netherite? Maybe eventually. It's not important. It's, like, literally the least important thing to do. Try not to headbang. Just going to set these down over here. Get them out of the way. Uh, that'll keep on me. Yeah, so we need to get a storage system set up. So that means I need some chests, obviously. I don't think I have... Let's go get some... Uh, actually, no, that top chest there actually should have some chests in it. Shouldn't it? Or did... You know what? I must have taken those back to the base. Alright, we're gonna head back to spawn base. Oop. 
Spawn base. Oh. Hope you're not melting as you are here in south of UK. It's not fun. See, where I live in Florida, southeastern United States, everywhere has air conditioning. So I never melt. I always have a nice regulated temperature. But I have lived in a place that did not, where like summer months were uncomfortable, and I, I know the pain that you're going through. I don't like that either. Yep, I am Florida man. This is entirely accurate. Uh, yeah, I've lived in Nevada, Las Vegas before for a couple years. So like, I know what the desert heat's like, and again, more air conditioning. Oh, uh, what am I doing? I am going to grab some chests. This is what I need. Uh, so we we'll, think I need more than that. Let's, we'll take birch. Take a stack of birch logs. Wait, did I have planks? No, I didn't have planks. All right. That is not wood. 40 chests. I feel like that might be excessive. I don't know. I'm going to need redstone components. How am I doing on my redstone stuff? Uh, we got plenty of redstone. Hold on a second here. Comparators, we are going to need more than five. Bum, bum, bum. What was that? Did this happen? What is this? You know, I installed item. Oh, this must. Okay, this must be the recipe thing. I installed. I got rid of a mod that I was using called uh, Mouse Tweaks. And Massa had recommended, I think in the last live stream or the stream before, I don't remember that he made a mod called item scroller, which is kind of the same thing where you can scroll items from one inventory to like a crafting grid or a chest or whatever. I don't think I saw this hotkey before. So I think you can save recipes here. I don't know how this works. I'm not actually interested in using that at all. Can I turn that off? Let's get rid of that. Controls, keybinds. That looks like it's bound to the letter A. I don't know if there's a way to turn that off in here. Mods. Item scroller. Configure. Hotkeys. A, recipe view. There we go, none. Perfect. All right, so that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, so I wanted to see comparator. That is stone, torches, and another quartz. All right. And I had five, right? I have five. So let's grab somewhere here, right here. 59 of those. Block, block, block. And then I need some redstone torches. Uh, sticks. 64, that'll be fine. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, so comparators, whoops. Comparators, we are set on. I'm gonna put that stone away. Uh. Redstone torches. I should probably make some more of those. We have 10. Make 54. How's my day going so far? So far, so good. I cannot complain. It's been a pretty good day. Hey, Etho. Oh. Etho is on the server, guys. Woo, Etho. You heard it here first. Etho's back. Um, I brought that extra ice for when I was making 
was making the mob farm. I don't need that extra ice on me anymore. Okay, so what else do we need? We needed comparators. We need redstone torches. We need redstone dust. Uh, we're going to need some kind of a building block, which got plenty of blocks over there. We can use stone brick or something. That's fine. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, no, we do need repeaters too, don't we? Yeah, we need repeaters. We have, we have 48, so we're good on that. I guess I could make some more observers. I don't know if I need those right now, though. I think we're good. We need to go deeper. Oh, Etho going to the nether. Uh, is this the first time logging on? Is this his first time logging on? Well, I mean, he just logged on and he made the advancement. We need to go deeper. So I'd imagine he's probably played a little bit before this. You gotta say you love the beard. You wish you could grow one nice and full like that. I mean, some people are just lucky, I guess. I like my beard. I don't think it's anything special, but if you like it, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. I'm happy that you like my beard. Um, I think that is about all we need for right now. We're like making the item sorter. I don't think we need anything else at the moment. Let's go back. It's turning scary nighttime asleep. I missed it. I think that's the first time I've actually failed that landing. I always press shift, but I must just not have been close enough to the stone when I press shift that time. Dang it. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. What are we doing today? Today we're setting up an auto sorter so I can actually start doing something with our mob farm drops. I should probably turn this mob farm off while we work on this. So it's on right now. Now it's off. And now it's on. Okay. So that will ensure the mob farm no longer functions. It's a fox. It's sleeping. Oh, it's not sleeping anymore. I turned around the fox like, gotta go. What did the fox say? Uh, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Ho, I think. Isn't, isn't that one of the things they say? It's been so long since I've, I've heard that song. All right, so we want to take these items, drop them down somewhere, and make sure they're all grouped up into, like, one location. So how do we do that? How? How do we do this? How? Tell me, guys. How do we do this? So we drop them down into there. I'm going to want... I think I have some glass here. In fact, I know I have glass here. We. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I was going to drop them down into here. I don't think we're going to actually do that. So they're going to be coming out of this and they're coming in a bunch of different directions. So we need to contain them first thing. Right? Um, and then we need them to be moved. Well, I guess, I guess we can do that down here underground. We, we could just make this like cleaner on the surface. Just kind of like drop these all down. Right? So all the items come down here and then down here is where like all the magic happens. So now we got to dig down and make the magic happen. Okay. So here we could have like water flowing. So all the items will get pushed over like so. 
And then we just need some kind of way to like stop them from flowing. Um, can we use just like a trap door? This is something I haven't, like I know I want to use a trap door to open close, but I don't really know how trap doors interact with like flowing water. So now this is something that I want to find out. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some experimentations here. That is a crafting table. Zoop. So I know you can water log. Yeah, if I put a trap door here, that stops the water. So nothing like this is gonna do anything for us. That's not gonna work at all. Another option that we have, we could place a block here, put a trap door here and have it close like this, right? So the items are flowing and then we open that, which will allow them to come through. So we have like an ice block there. I don't know if this works. This is These are things that we're gonna experiment with real quick, just to see. So if I put like, I don't know, how about a packed ice? If I put a packed ice here and we have that closed, let's drop some items into this. Uh, bones, some arrows, some that, whatever. So we have all these things. So that does stop them. And if I open this, then they flow. Okay. Okay. That's, that's pretty much all we want. So we could have like more ice here and then another water right there. Let's try this again. So we have water there. I probably want another packed ice under, or actually I'm not sure that's going to matter. Okay. So we do that. Drop some of those, some of those, some of those. Okay, so the items are stopped. This opens and closes. So it needs to be open for like a little bit, lets the items through. Okay, that, that could work. That'll work. Cobweb or powdered snow? I don't think... Powdered snow works good, like if you're going from a dispenser down, but see the way this is set up is different. The dispenser is above this packed ice shooting down, and then the water is pushing it over this way. So the items coming from this side are gonna have like a this direction momentum, and the same thing from this side. So these items will be flying over here and have like a that way's momentum. So like we need everything collected, dropped down, and then like flown up against a wall which is what this trap door is going to be doing, right? Where did I get the wither roses for the farm? Uh, from Impulse. You thought I wanted to drop stuff off in a straight line, didn't realize you want to group items up in a bundle. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not sure how powdered snow would interact with this, like how that would change the items at all. But either way, I want the items to fall down. I want them all to like group up and then I want that trap door to open for like half a second, let the items come through and then slam shut again. So the items like build up and then like that'll open every, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, something like that. But we need like some kind of a regulation here. So we know this is basically working the way I want it to right now. Uh, I need to get this on some kind of a timer. I guess we could just do a hopper clock. Let's just build a hopper clock. Uh, we would probably want a hopper clock with a, a repeater and an observer. So we need two hoppers, we need two comparators, a uh, sticky piston, redstone block, some redstone dust. I think that's about all we need. So let's set up a little thingy here. So we're gonna power that block. Okay, so that block is going to get powered by redstone repeater. This is going to be on four ticks. 
Pro eh, two ticks might be enough. I'm not actually sure. We have a redstone block here that's going to be powering this, like so. Okay, so this is actually going to have to be inverted. Yeah, that needs to be inverted. Okay. Uh... Let's see, I need a redstone torch. Repeater. All right, so redstone block. Then we'll have sticky piston. Oh, I needed two sticky pistons, not one. Mm -hmm. You think items fall straight through powdered snow? But that only works if you're taking like items from a dropper or a dispenser and putting it through that, right? That's to keep the items from those kinds of things centered. That's not what we're doing here. You are correct, but it has no application for what we're doing as far as I'm aware. Uh, all right, so hopper hopper. Mm-hmm. Comparator, let's make some stone bricks. Comparator, comparator. Stone, stone. Stone brick. Stone brick. Redstone dot. Boop. And boop. Torch. I think that's I think that's about all we need, right? I think so. Put some items in here. I don't know. Let's put in like 25 gunpowder. Uh, I, I did mess this up. I did mess this up. We needed... I need to move this all back one. We needed a, um, an observer. I want that thing to open and close, open and close. I don't want it to just like open, close. Yeah, this is... Actually, would it work if I just put an observer here? Would this work? Maybe it'll just work. Um... It would work if like the closed position was right. Maybe if I re do some of these things here. So that into a repeater into this block into this, right? And then that's going to be redstone. Does this work? Kind of, but that's too quick. That might work. That might work. I might need a second repeater. I'm probably gonna have to push this timer back a little bit.
How come I want them bunched up? Otherwise, if I don't bunch them up the way the items come through, it's going to be like too fast for an item sorter unless I have my storage system, like just the, the items coming into the storage system on a loop. Hoppers can only pick up items so quickly. And if you have like gunpowder, gunpowder, like back to back, it's going to pick up the first one. The second one is just going to keep flowing because the hopper, like when it picks up an item, has a certain delay before it can pick up an item from the world again. So if I have the items bunched up and like 20 gunpowder come through as a stack, it'll pick up all 20. But if it's trying to pick up like gunpowder, gunpowder, like back to back too quickly, then we lose it. And it's got to either be like run back again or it's going to head to the overflow. So you kind of need to like either have a regulator where it's like spitting out the items like one item per second, which is really slow, or you need to like bunch them up so like it picks up the entire stack or the partial stack at a time. I think this is going to work. I guess the next thing we need to see is like, do items waiting make it through that trap door? Is that fast enough? Yes and no. It appears yes. It'd probably be better if this was like open just a little bit longer though. You love how you've been playing Minecraft for seven years and still don't know anything about redstone. I feel like I'm still kind of a redstone noob. I've made a few contraptions before a few times. Like I've made these hopper clocks a few times. So I know how to set them up. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like an expert or anything. I wonder if this is the best way. I almost wonder if having like a, what is it called? A comparator delay circuit? We do like comparator, 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 comparator. You have like redstone like this. Just like that. Okay, so Hmm. We're at, I'm just I'm just experimenting here real quick. We're going to be coming up with something. I don't know if I want to use what we currently have or if I want to do one of these kinds of timers. And then when that runs out, we could have that open the trap door and send a redstone signal back over here to like restart this up. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is just a little bit too much, too complicated for what we're doing. I think this is probably going to be better. We just need to move this back, I believe, two blocks now. So I can do a little bit of a pulse extender. Just move this back here. That there. Do, 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 do. Comparator, comparator. Bum, 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 bum.
I was trying to middle click on uh, some stone bricks, but apparently I didn't have any there. That, that. Okay, sticky piston. Boop. Boop. And then we need redstone block. And then we need some kind of item in here. 25, I think, is what we did before. So this guy's got to get moved back to here. And then we need another repeater. Bum, bum. Put that on four. We need a block right here. And then I need redstone dust. From there. To here. I think that's how that works. Yeah, so that stays open a little bit longer now. Perfect. Okay. Um, I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need. Uh, Noob for Life 98 says no streaming torch this season. Streaming torch. What do you mean streaming torch? You had that issue and never realized that it can't pick up items at the same type one after another. Uh, you just had another sort of fix. That's good to know. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when hoppers are picking up items out of the world, it, there's like a four tick cooldown or an eight tick cooldown. I, I don't know what the actual specifics are. All I know is that there's uh, definitely a delay where it can't pick up items. I think I'll leave that uncovered there. And I should probably replace these other blocks with some other block here. Looking good. I'll replace those two. Mm-hmm. All right. So now that we have that in place, that's our little bit of a delay to trap the items, let them all go through as a group. Uh, we should be able to set up like a, an actual item sorter now. Uh, put those away too. I want to keep all my redstone where I know where things are. How does the pulse extender work? So this um, repeater is powering this block, right? This block is powering this redstone. This redstone comes over here and powers this torch immediately. So this block is powering the redstone Nick and then this one turns on and powers this block. Just it keeps it off months. for longer. 65 months of not being able to find the unsub button Kappa Pride. Yo, Nick, welcome back. Thank you for the 65 month resub. So you'll see here now it'll take longer after that piston goes and like the door opens, closes because we're not getting the extra. If I put this redstone dust back here, this torch will stay off for longer. Because it's getting this torch is now getting power from this repeater through this block and redstone line and from this repeater. So it's doubling that up. Uh, hello, the life of L. Bum, 
bum, bum, bum, bum. Yep, so I think we're good here. I can just cover this up with glass. I don't think we need to really mess with this too much. Um... I feel like we're going to have a problem with this setup. I didn't really think about this a minute ago. But... This being open like this and not a solid block, items could potentially get caught right here. Or maybe like right here on this edge. Very rare, but it could happen. I feel like... If I put a target block here, does a redstone torch power a target block? Will that still work? Hmm. Hello, Tornado Doctor. I don't have a way to make... I'm going to go get some wheat real quick. I don't... Actually, do I have any target blocks? Am I right some box? I don't remember. I don't. Let's go get ourselves a hay bale. I don't know if this village over here had any hay bales in it. There's some hay. There's some wheat. We can make... Is there nine wheat here? Sometimes villagers just spawn with hay bales. I never really looked at this village for that. I was looking specifically for villagers when we came here before. Um, No, it looks like we just have some wheat. All right, let's grab that. Is that enough? Yeah, that's nine. Perfect. Gotta replant. Is that it? I think that's it. And... Whoop. Hypno capitalizing the H in wheat. Wheat. Uh, this guy. Is it four redstone or eight redstone? I had two crafting tables. Now we can craft twice the items. Perfect. I think it's, I think it's like making a redstone lamp, right? Yeah. But what I don't know is will this redstone torch actually power instead of this redstone dust? Not looking good. How else can we do that? I mean, I think the only good way to do this is just literally move everything back one block. I was hoping the target block would take the power from this redstone torch and like pass it without having to like move things back. It was kind of like a hope and a dream. No, the observer isn't gonna work because an observer is just a redstone pulse. That'll just do, it'll, it'll do this. And that's not what I want. I think we just have to literally move everything back one more block. I don't have room to put a repeater from the torch into a block. Unless I do like a weird like loop-de-loop -loop thing. I think we literally just have to move this back one more block. That's fine. That's fine. I should have looked at that before I filled everything back in. I thought we were good. I thought we were done. I, I derped. It happens. Do, do, do. 
No, that doesn't go away. That goes back like this. This one goes away. And that goes away. Great. Ether was pricked to death. That sounds like a tactical. Oh, that's where my other block one was underneath that repeater. All right, so this is set back up again. This needs to be moved back. Observer. Oh, I didn't actually put stone blocks under this. Wow, imagine, imagine doing redstone and not putting stone bricks underneath your components. Just imagine, you can't imagine that. Literally unimaginable. Literally unimaginable. I just, oh, I almost did it again. That would have been embarrassing. Whew, imagine doing that. All right, so that goes there. This comes back over here. This goes there. Oh no, oh my goodness. More redstone. More redstone without stone brick under it. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Literally almost was embarrassed. All right, so that needs a redstone dot here. And that's, that's got one there. Are we good? Right, so that needs that, and then we need a block here. There we go. Now we're good. Now everything's fine. I just need to put in 25... 25 gunpowder all up in there. Just make sure this thing's working. Oh, that doesn't seem like that's... Is that... Oh, I didn't set these on four. There we go. Now that's looking right. Okay, yep, 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 yep. That looks right to me. I think everything's good to go. I think we can just glass over this. I don't know if this is gonna stay like this. I might actually just like completely hide this. This could be a target block. And then I don't have to have this piece of redstone dust on top. Yay, we're actually gonna use our target block that we made. The redstone connects directly to that block so I don't need to have the rest one on top. So that should work just the same now. Looks good. Looks good. All right. Redstone's taken care of. <laughs> Move it down. You've never seen a target block being used before? Well, you can't say that now. Because you're seeing one being used right now. Or do you mean like being used as an actual target? Yay, target block not being used for its intended purpose. <laughs> I mean, I guess it depends on who you ask if that's intended or not. It's purpose being intended like that. I feel like that's an intended purpose. All right, so this is all set, ready to go. It's turning to scary time. We sh we need to sweep. I had my eyes closed. I can still say I've never seen one used. <laughs> oh you, oh you. Right. So now that we have this set up. Uh, we need this to go into some kind of an item elevator. And 
go into a sorting system. So I guess the next thing is we need to figure out what items we're going to be sorting, right? So I have a bunch of mob drops in my inventory. There was also a shulker that I was keeping some things up here in. Yeah, we're going to be getting like witches every now and then. So I kind of like those sorted properly too. So glowstone, sticks, um, I guess glass bottles are going to be a possibility. Do, do, do. Anything besides those kinds of things, like I don't care about health potions if a witch is going to be dropping those at all. I think I have some extra bottles in this hive. Ten should be more than enough. Alright, so chicken. If we get chicken jockeys, we'll have chicken and feathers, which is gonna happen very rarely, but I would like to capture those items. What else do witches drop? They drop a redstone, right? I put my redstone box away. Do witches drop anything else that I should be aware of? Bottles, redstone sticks, uh, spider eyes. Spider eyes. I don't think I have any here. Um, let's actually go back and grab... I'm sure I have some spider eyes or go to Corallus' spider farm. I'm sure I have some at my base though. Yeah, glowstone's in there. Could sell instant health. I feel like that's not a very popular item. Like, I can't remember the last time I wanted to use instant health. Uh, regen is something that'd be different story, but yeah, witches don't drop that. Sugar. Good point. Gunpowder we already have taken care of. That's gonna be from the creepers that we're getting. Um, I do have spider eyes. Anything else? I don't think so. I think we got everything. All right. Yeah, I have sugar at my bee farm. I can grab some of those. I accidentally made like 45 sugar. If you uh, just craft a honey bottle in your crafting grid. <laughs> it gives you sugar and I did that by mistake before. So we'll just hit, stop by the, uh, the hives real quick, grab the sugar, and then we can set up the auto sorters. Was it this one? That's 48. Do zombies drop vegetables? Um, I know if a player kills them, you can get potatoes and carrots. I don't know if they drop those just from impact or like non-player kills. I feel like that's a player kill only thing. Zombs drop taters are precious. Yeah, but I feel like that is like if it's a player kill. Am I wrong? I might be wrong on that. Yeah, player kill only. Ben Diesel just resubscribed for 38 months. 38 whole months. 
Ben, welcome back. Thank you for the 38 whole months. That's a lot of months. Appreciate you, dude. Um, I don't need these. I have everything else that I need. I think we're good. Okay. So now the next thing is, how many items is this? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum. I was almost thinking that we would have like a wall of chests like completely surrounding this thing but like with the stuff behind I think that's like five blocks in length that you need behind the chest so it's like seven blocks in length with the chest the hot maybe it's eight blocks the chest the hopper and then like the redstone components behind I don't think we're gonna be able to do that unless we do like Maybe five wide. Hmm. Or we could just set this up as more of a temporary thing where we just put out like, I don't know, the whatever I said it was, nine chests that we need or whatever. We can make the square where the, the storage is like bigger. Like it doesn't have to be like directly under this. It could be like over here or something. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eventually, I do believe we're going to have a floor at this level. So, like, all this will be open space and closed off. And we're also going to have a floor up here at this level, too. So, we'll have, like, a nice big area. Um. So, if we're going to have a floor there... I haven't thought about any of this, guys. Like, we're really just doing this off the cuff. I think this is just going to be a temporary storage system for right now until I, like, flush out what it's actually going to be. I think this is probably best that we just do this temporary so I can start collecting items. And then we make it into something better later on. I think that's the best course of action. So instead of, like, trying to flush everything out right now, we'll have the items come up over here, whatever. They'll come up into a tube, then they'll be flushed over... So we will just set up our chests here. Bum, bum, bum. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. 12. So I'm a few chests short of having like two, and then I'm gonna probably want more than just two. I'll just make a stack of chests real quick. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna be this is this is just gonna be so we can get our mob farm up and running and then I'm gonna actually set up a second one later in the permanent location. This is just so we can start collecting our gunpowder. Guess I'll go up one more. We have enough chests. Some of these are really excessive, like we're never gonna need a full double chest, let alone four double chests for like feathers. <laughs> I don't think we're ever gonna need that much. This is that's 12, 24, 48. So I need 48 hoppers just to insert items into the back of these things and I don't have enough, so we'll have to worry about that.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need 16 plus more to go along the top. So I should just make another stack of hoppers, basically what that means. How do you place single items from the chest in your inventory without dragging it? Uh, so I have a mod where I can use my mouse wheel to scroll one item at a time. That's basically functionality that should be in the base game and why it's not, I don't know, but I'm tired of it not being in the base game and pretending like it's fine. It's not fine. This is 2022. We have mouse wheels, allow us to use them. What was I gonna do? I was gonna go fly to the iron farm, which I think is this way. Am I wrong? I'm wrong. I don't even know where my iron farm is. Found it. Mm. One, two, three, four. Like, it, it was fine back in 2010 when the mouse wheel didn't work. But 12 years later, they still haven't added mouse wheel functionality. Come on, game. Come on. Uh, I guess I'm going to make another stack of chests. You can put a giant slab roof above the mob farm. Why did you choose tinted glass? Because I do not want to have a giant roof above my mob farm. I wanted it to be visible. I wanted it to be a thing. I didn't want it to be like ugly and hidden. I like the way it looks. Right, so now... Doot, 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 doot. Uh, so I need hoppers. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. This is like the dumbest way to do this, but I already started it, so now I gotta finish it. This is right. For a second, I was like, am I doing this right? I'm doing this right. But this is not the right way that I should have done it. But it is right. If that makes any sense. It doesn't make sense. It's fine, though. So that, I believe, comes out to... Let me go grab some more stone blocks real quick. Squeak! That, and then we go down... Like a shore, like a shore. Mm, yep. So I'm going to need 12 repeaters. Repeat. I guess I can place all but like the back blocks real quick. Well, 
That doesn't go there. There's a hole. Maybe misplace. Here we go. And then some redstone dust. Just sprinkle some magic redstone dust all over it and things just work. It's amazing. That's wrong. Those need to be, um, comparators. And 12 of those. You see that I'm working on a sword already? Yes, sir. This is a temporary one because I don't know where the final storage system is going to go. But I want to be able to use my mob farm, and I don't really have a place to store the mob drops, so we're working on, like, setting up a thing. Like, we got the hard part set up as far as I'm concerned, like, the item gate to, like, stop items from coming through as fast. Um, alright, then I just need another row of hoppers on top. Mm-hmm. Right? No. I'm not doing hoppers on top. No, we can just do water streams. That's why we have the, the gate. This is wrong. Now I gotta get rid of the hoppers in every one of these chests. Dang it! Wait, where did my hoppers go? Oh, right, right. Yep, they're gonna be up there. Okay, yep, got it. That's the fastest sorter building you've ever seen? I built a sorter once or twice before. Yeah, so this is gonna have water stream flowing on top of it, and then we're gonna have, I guess, an overflow over here. Hello, Wabby Wouter. Um, this will just be our overflow. Okay, that's basically it. Basically, actually, technically, basically, actually. Uh, let's get some glass for the tubing. You know what would be cool? Building a giant statue is something. Well, you should do that if that's cool. I have full confidence in your building abilities. Oh, you know what? This is another problem. I haven't built one of these in a while. So, like... I think I need to put ice over here and then align the items a certain way. So like part way on the ice and they could slide down. Maybe we aren't gonna be doing water up here. This is why I like building things in creative first. Today we're just yellowing. That way it can just easily be like, whoops, this isn't what I meant, delete it all. Yeah, that actually needs to have, like, packed ice or something to slide along. That's going to stop me from opening these top chests, too. Dang. 
Um, how do we do this then? I mean, I guess we could get rid of the top chests and just have it three chests. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need a stopper. Yeah, an ender chest or a regular chest, just or like a honey block might even work, but I think a honey block would slow down the momentum. So you probably don't want to do that. Uh-huh. So then I need items flowing over here and then This is why I should not YOLO these kinds of things. No ice needed, just slabs is fine. How would slabs be fine? Yep, sea pickles would work. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not understanding what you're saying. I do actually have some sea pickles. If they're not here, they're back at my base, back at spawn base. I did grab some extras. The fox making a sound. I thought there was a creeper coming up on me. Hmm. Yeah, a chest would work. An enchantment table would work. There's a few. I guess I can just use a chest. Uh, the thing is, we need to get that aligned so it's like right here. So like the chest is gonna work. That's gonna allow items to like just sit on the ice and whatever. Um, but we need the items being moved over at another location and then we need more water. Wait a second here. Can you do a water log to chest? Do items float on? This is going beyond the scope of what we need. I was thinking like you can waterlog chests. So if you waterlog the chest and you have the item here, would the water from the waterlog chest not just like push it along? But I think the item's gonna start floating and it might get too far away from the hopper. So that's probably not what you wanna do. It's probably not what you wanna do. I do need to get some more packed ice though because I don't have enough. Well, let me just turn some of this ice into packed ice. Is three going to be enough? It might be. Okay, so we need the items coming up here, getting slammed into a chest and then having water stream push along further. Like so is that that's actually in line with this. So that might be just fine like this. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay, let's get this figured out over here. Do, do, do. This will be fine, then we'll just put a bubble column here. Yep, and then we'll carry that over.
Very good. So that'll slam into this. And then we need that to be going over this way. I think that's... I mean, I guess that should probably be replaced with one of these. And... If we just have the water rounding the corner here, and then I put like a sign, I think that might be all we need. Or... I can put a sign here so the items come over this way, and then we have water flowing this way. I'm not entirely sure the best way to do that. That needs another ice there. Um. No, stop that. Which way is that chest facing? I just need like a sign. I think we're we're really just yellowing everything here. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of pretending like I know what I'm doing, but I don't actually know what I'm doing. I guess I need another sign. I honestly don't know what I'm even doing. I don't even know where I am right now. All right, so let's just assume we have items coming up. That didn't really work, so I think this needs to be ice down here as well. I have ice on me. We can make three more. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to try that. That looks right. That looks right. It looks like it's slamming into the chest and then going over. All right, so I need some glass here. I need glass here. Let me up. Definitely need glass here. Mm -mm. All right, we're going to need some more ice. All right, let's go back to the base then. More ice. I actually have packed ice back at the base, I'm pretty sure, and then we have more, like, ice ice. Have I ever been to Norway? You should come because we have brown cheese and... That sounds delicious. I don't know what you just said. But I'm definitely coming to Norway for that right now. I'll be right back. Give me one second. It's the purple portal thing of death and doom and destruction. Ah, uh, let's see. Packed ice and regular ice.
You need to set a chest in the first hopper and then place a slab. Don't tell me what I need to do. I'll tell you what I need to do. You don't tell me what I need to do. Translates to quick lunch and it's a chocolate bar. I like chocolate. Chocolate, mmm, mmm, good. Oh. Coming in hot. Are you saying this needs to be a slab? Is that what you were trying to tell me? Because we can do that. We can make this work. This is going to happen. Watch. Are you watching? Watch. Boom. Did you see it? Did you see it? Boom. I just did it. Literally redstone master impulse ain't got nothing on me i placed that stone brick top slab like nobody's business i know i know impulse is over there like oh man i gotta study up now <laughs> impulse thanks so much for the raid dude welcome everybody from impulse's stream just call <laughs> teach me the ways just resubscribed for two months uh who did a thing somebody did a thing impulse thanks so much for the raid my dude uh, just call me Kevin Mate resub for two months. Welcome back, Kevin. Welcome back. I don't know if this is going to work. This is like a temporary thing that we're setting up. Um, doing this on the fly. I'm sure it's going to work because I made it. Hey, thanks, dude. I'll try to have a good stream. Whoa, jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Is this going to work? Look. I'm putting some pork chops in here. They're sledding along. They got caught by the hopper. Boom, redstone genius. Easy, let's go. Let's go. Um, If I break this ice block because there's water underneath it, that should turn into a source block, right? So I should just be able to punch my way down. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Is that all, is that all source blocks? We got a bubble column now. Oh, this, this one. Oh, I needed a sign down here. Where's my sign? I needed a sign and then I also needed, I need to make signs, first of all. First things first, I actually have to make the signs. Stick this, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this block right here, that needs to be packed ice. It doesn't need to be, but we're making a packed ice. And then we need a sign. Senate underscore one just subscribed. Who? Senate underscore one. Welcome, dude. Bubble column. Bubble column. It sounds like a bubble column. It goes. Okay, we need to put a cap on that. So apparently Kifk Lungsg is similar to our Kit Kat. I see. Sounds delicious. All right, so that should literally be all that we need to do to like get this to work. So I just come along here. Hopefully they'll slide down. We haven't tried that yet. I mean, I guess I can like fill these up and see if they slide all the way down. I mean, if it slides past two or three, we know it's going to make it, right? Pork chops, pork chops, pork chops. Did any of them make it? None of them made it. Why did it stop there? I have it confused. Is this slab screwing things up? Is 
It's not getting over into the chest far enough, I guess. Uh, you think you need to move the sign back one so it gets more momentum in the water? So this needs to come forward a little bit, is that what you're telling me? I think it's just not hitting the chest fast enough. It's like, it needs to be over here, not here. The water should run over the ice with the items lined up on the edge between the ice and the hopper. Um, so I should have a waterlogged chest. Is that what we're saying? Because I could do a waterlogged chest. Maybe that's not what we're saying, but we could do that. I'm, I'm curious to see if this is even going to work. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. This looks ugly. I I understand, but I just want to try this. So if I waterlog this chest, the item should fly over here, hit the chest, and then be in the water and get pushed. Let's try that. Let's see how this works. We'll make this look better. No, it's still the same. The chest is too big? Oh, does it actually need to be like sea pickles or something? I thought, I know you could, I know people have used ender chests in the past, but an ender chest is the same size as a chest, right? Maybe it just needs to be like sea pickles. All right, I can go get sea pickles. We'll, we'll, we'll switch it up. If, if like it works and it's just like the spacing is the problem, we can fix this. Ender chest is smaller, you think? I'm. That might be true, but I'm pretty sure they're the same size. Let's just go grab some sea pickles real quick. I have some at the base. Will a wall work? I don't think so. It has to be like... It has to be pretty exact so the item is like over the hopper and over the ice at the same time. Yeah, turtle eggs would probably work too, but I don't have any turtle eggs. Can you waterlog turtle eggs? Because maybe they wouldn't work then, actually. Sea pickles you can waterlog. You said three sea pickles exactly? I have three sea pickles. If you lied to me, I'm literally going to freak out. And if I freak out... You're gonna freak out that I'm freaking out. And everybody's gonna freak out. 123 Novas, 321 just resubscribed for two months. Two months. Yo, 123 Novas, 321. Welcome back. Thank you so much for resubscribing to the channel. That's my face. That's my face too. I'm just gonna like kill myself on the way back. It's fine. You watch Tango all the time, he uses a chest. Yeah, this is the first time I've like tried setting up one of these things. So I'm just like, I'm doing it from what I remember, not like looking at a picture or something. So that's why I'm screwing this up. I didn't like try and pre pre-do this in creative mode, which I really should have. It's fine. I just wanted a temporary setup so I can AFK and like collect some items from my mob farm. This isn't gonna be like the permanent thing. This is kind of like our test. And then I'm gonna move this to a permanent location later. Okay. So you guys say this will work. We're about to find out. Ooh, that looks way better. That looks way better. Did you guys see that looked way better? Sea pickle for the win. That won't work. Oh, I guess we should not use this then. Do 
Just need more more momentum. Um, can I slabage? Instead of using signs, can I just like put slabs? I think this will do essentially the same thing. Um, I need another slab. More slabages. Oh, I can't get up here now. Um, perfect. All right, let me try that. They grab the things out of here. We. I mean, that looks right. That looks right. All right, so I can take my glass back. Well, actually, no, I guess it. Well, I don't. I'm just gonna use like stone. We just need something as a filler block. I'd rather not use glass for that. Let's just grab some stone. All right, we did the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I don't know if I need to put more water. If we do, like, that should be easy enough to solve. And this is just our overflow at this point. Oh, it's scary time. Super scary. Super scary, we're all gonna die time. I'm late to the party, but it's a huge circle for sometimes in life. You just have to dig a big circle. All right. Don't judge me. Sometimes I just wanted to, to, to make a big circle and I don't need you judging me about it. Uh, we can just do one of those and we should just be able to put like another one of these. Yeah. I think we did it boys. I think we did it. So let's just see if the items end up over in the overflow. Oh no, they're going to end up in the first hopper because we left the first thing empty, right? Okay, so we need to grab our shulker of mob drops. This one here and fill up the item filters. All right, so first one, let's do gunpowder. Then we'll do, I don't know, bones and string. Run flesh. Uh, uh, actually, I guess I should put arrows next to. Let's swap. Rip. Okay, we're gonna put arrows down here. This is the temporary one anyway. We're gonna be rearranging it. I can fix this later. It's fine. Uh. So now. This will be at the end, glowstone, sticks, bottles, that, this. Okay, so glowstone, bottles, redstone, sugar, stick, raw chicken, feather, oh, spider eyes, spider eyes.
spider eye chicken oh i miscounted because i didn't do the spider eye i'd rather keep feathers than raw chicken i don't really care about raw chicken that can go to their overflow okay i think we should be good now so now if i do this all of our pork should end up in the overflow and this is all working correctly or just gonna pop into my inventory because i'm standing right here Woohoo! Looks like it all went down to the overflow. Boom. Looking good, boys. We're looking good. So next step is actually just turning on the mob farm and making sure things work. I have hoppers. I think that's everything. All right, let's turn on the mob farm. Make sure things are working. Ah. I can actually get up high enough and with enough momentum. There's a mob or two coming through. So there's a couple of things that I want to check. The mob farm's working, but I want to make sure like our item gate down here is working. So we let a few items up. I saw something go to the overflow. Okay, so we might have a bit of a problem. This might need to be worked on a little bit. Hmm. Maybe it would be better just to loop items around instead of going to an overflow. I don't know. Or maybe that delay is just too long. Like, how much is going in this? Hmm. So the reason why we have a limiter, you can see, like, the items coming out of the mob farm. This is how fast that we're actually collecting the items. Item sorters can't accept items that quickly. But if you, like, group them all up... I was actually thinking, instead of using this hopper clock that we set up, that we have like a string with an observer here with like a, um, a repeater delay thing. So after a certain amount of time of no items coming through, then it would lift the flap and then put it back down. This is something that I'm gonna have to mess with. But anyway, yeah, these item sorters, if if like a piece of gunpowder comes through and then another piece of gunpowder comes through like way too quickly between the gunpowder, the hopper can't pick it up. That's specific for gunpowder. If you have it all grouped up, I mean, I guess another thing that we could do is I can change these. So like there's more stone in it so I can accept more than 20 at a time or 23 gunpowder at a time you need more slices or you need gonna lose some items 
Yep, we're we're kind of testing this out. This is something that I didn't even try to do in like a creative world. Like I built this all in creative, but I've built these kinds of mob farms before, so I knew this was a like pretty much gonna work. But the collection system is a thing that I was just kind of winging it right now, just trying to get some items coming in. Hey, look, we already got another piece of chicken. But for the most part, we should have items being sorted correctly. We're just getting a little bit too many items. Another option that we could do is just say, forget it. If we get too many items and they don't get sorted, just throw them away. It's not ideal, but it is something that we could do. Yeah, we could just trash the overflow. Or alternatively, we could just have the overflow drop back down, come around over here and just enter into the item stream again. We could do that as well. Why not just let them go into chests without the sorting? That's just way too many items. I don't want my chests all full of like arrows. Like when I'm trying to find gunpowder, I don't want to have to get like three stacks out of this chest, five stacks out of that chest, two stacks out of the next chest. I just want it all to be gunpowder. I don't really need this many arrows either. I mean, we could do multiple columns for each one, but that's a lot of like extra hoppers and chests and things. It's not ideal. I honestly think the best thing like, if we want to be super efficient, the best thing would be to let this overflow drop the items back down, just have a water stream come over here, and then enter right behind here. So I'll just be waiting at the gate again when this thing flaps open. Seems like it's getting enough to just burn the overflow. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, if we look at the overflow, what are we getting here? We've already lost half a stack of gunpowder, a little over half a stack of bones, almost half a stack of string. Those are the items that I want, and I I feel like that's pretty wasteful because those are the items that I don't want to, like, just throw away. McLesley13 gifted love to craft a subscription. McLesley13 gifted a tier 1 sub to love to craft. They have given 14 gift subs in the channel. MC Leslie, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Looping will only make it worse. I don't I don't know if that's true. Another thing that I'd like to do is add some more stone. So instead of having only 41 or instead of having 41 and only allowing 23 gunpowder at a time to enter this hopper. If we add like half a stack of stone, then this will allow more gunpowder to enter. Or what, whatever our filter block is. I guess what I need to do impo most importantly is see if, um, see if we ever get more than 23. That'll break the filter system? How would that break the filter system? Oh, because the redstone signal. Right. Right. I did not consider that. Good call. Yeah, good call. Yeah, that is not an option we can do. I mean, if we just loop the items that come across here back over here, 
then they'll they'll all go in on the second pass. And if I just loop the items around that we could potentially get rid of my uh, my little my gate down here, we that would make this more of a moot point. We wouldn't need this. The little flapper, we won't need that anymore. If we just loop the items around. Hey Thumper, thank you for the six month resub. Thumper underscore 67 just resubscribed for six months. Items will only despawn if they've been in the world for more than five minutes and a loop will, won't take that long. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that the little flapper trap door thing that I had down there would work just fine, but apparently... I mean, maybe with a timing adjustment it would work. Maybe the, the delay is too long. I could try messing with that before I just like completely give up on it. Let's, let's try adjusting the flap time. So instead of like eight ticks, it's at six ticks. I also need to place this glass back here. I want to make sure the items can actually pass through the flap. Yep, that still lets items through at two ticks slower. I mean, that might literally be all we need. Doubt it, but, um, you know, we might get lucky. It might be dumb luck. I mean, I didn't see any extra items come through that time, but uh, I wasn't up there long enough to get a whole bunch of mobs. That's a lot of mobs coming. I saw gunpowder go overflow there. String went overflow. Hmm. Check my overflow now. My overflow is probably going to be ugly because I never cleared it out before. I should clear it. I, I guess that's probably the best way to like judge this than just looking at the items that are passing through. I should clear out this overflow and then use that. That's kind of like the measure. I'm going to be this creeper. Oh, I thought you could right click on a monster and become it. Oh. What was that color? What was that about? Since when do creepers see green like this? Has it always been like that? I've never seen that before. Oh, the spider. No, they, they had to have added this at some point. This hasn't always been a thing. They must have added this at some point. It was a while ago. Yeah, I, I don't remember that being a thing before. That's cool that that's a thing. I don't remember it being a thing, though. This is not good still. 
Endermen have a thing too. Yeah, they probably have like a purple. Try taking out the item gate. If I take out the item gate, I know for sure this is going to be worse. But I can try it. Oh, I gotta get rid of... It's gonna be real worse unless I get rid of that. Um... Yeah, so with like no stopping the items at all and they're just gonna free flow through, we're gonna be losing so many items. Gotta wait till like a proper flush happens here. I love this mob farm, it's just so good. It's just so good. Did the gate actually make that worse? Did that gate actually make it worse? Yeah, I just saw bone go through. Here I am thinking that I need to slow down the items to make this better. And it appears that that was actually making things worse. I mean, this, there still is items that are going through, but for the most part, it's not bad. It's really not bad. Have you tried honey blocks over the hoppers? You believe that slows items down a bit? I don't want the items slowed. I mean, the only other option is we could just have the items all flow into just a hopper and then just have a line of hoppers over the top of these things. And then like, we'll capture every single item. Maybe all of this was just really pointless. I thought I was going to be clever and we were going to do like a thing. But now I'm feeling like it's just not worth it. I guess the question would be, are we getting too many items total for like one single hopper to collect all those items? Looking at the items falling down over here as they're falling down, it feels like that the answer to that question is yes, we're getting too many items for like one hopper. Like, when we get a full flush coming through, there's a lot of items that are dropping. Look at that. Uh, or overflow.
Have observers always made that face when the block is moved? You're talking about like the uh, the frowny face? The look of disapproval? I do have a texture pack on. I don't know if that has been modified. But still overflowing every item, but it's 10% of the amount that it was overflowing before. I agree, this this definitely is better. It doesn't seem like it should be better, but it obviously is better. Guys, I'm disappointed that my clever redstoning wasn't so clever after all. I better go watch some Impulse SV videos now and actually up my game. Be real, it's gonna output way more than you need. Just burn the overflow. I have an aversion to burning items and just destroying them in like a system kind of like this, because what happens if somebody's just checking it out and they fall and they die and all their items drop and then it all just gets burned, right? Like it's never gonna happen, but what if? What if it does? What if? What if it's me trying to fix something? When items come in batches, looping is the way to go. It's definitely a downside. It's happened to you before I accidentally tossed your sword in. Yeah, especially when the Q, when like your drop button is on Q and it's like right next to the W button. Like I've done that before. I put my hand on my keyboard, go to step forward and do this. And just toss whatever's in my hand. I'm feeling like getting rid of this, just having a water stream come over here. Or I guess we could just have it enter in here as well. Just have the items loop back down and come back out and around. I feel like that's probably the best way to do this. It won't take much time. Then we collect every item. The only problem is chicken Raw chicken uh, doesn't have like an actual storage container, but we can add it in if we're like, we, we could add another one of these for a chicken. It doesn't matter, but we could do that. Oh, I need, oh, I have signs. I do have packed ice. Uh, packed ice actually goes there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sign. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sign. Mm, I should probably move this up one. I think that's going to be where our water is. Oop. Yeah, I know chicken's rare. And also I have a chest for the feathers. I just felt like if we're possibly getting those, I should try and capture those since I don't have a chicken farm. 
and I'd rather get it this way than have to farm them. I don't really care about the raw chicken. Because I'm never going to use it as food, so it doesn't matter. But feathers... Feathers could be useful. Oh wait, that's regular ice. Crap. Maybe it's some packed ice. Uh, zombies drop iron and carrots as a player drop. Okay, I think we're good. So I should be able to, well, let's see, this is dropping down here. I don't need this overflow. So that means I could stop this one block sooner. I need to sign up there then. Um, how does this work? If I put a block here, I think it's going to catch on the block, right? So I need like a two wide drop. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to leave it like this. Again, this is temporary. I'm going to be like making something better in the future. We just need something to like retain these items for right now. No, my hoppers. Give me those. Uh, so I need to get rid of that last hopper up there, actually. And I think that is it. I think that's all I need to do. I mean, I guess I could technically get rid of that then. Okay. I think we should be good to, uh, to do this. And I should loop around. At this point, man, my inventory is an absolute disaster area. Let's uh, fix that. Don't need those, 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 or that, or this. All right, we can put the wood back. Food, rockets. Let's actually grab some more rockets while we got the ender chest down and we are here. Okay, I think we're good. Let's, let's go AFK.
There goes the chicken. So the chicken's looping through. That's all we really needed to see. If the chicken makes it, anything else is going to make it. Now, the only problem with this is if the chests fill up, say like arrows fill up, which they will, since I am not going to uh, be using arrows for really anything. Then we're just going to have a constant stream of arrows until they eventually despawn. So I probably want to set something up where, where arrows automatically get extracted and destroyed, right? Like some kind of an overflow protection for that. But I mean, this should be 100% efficient collecting for every single item now. Do items despawn if they are moving? Yes. As long as the item stack has been in the world for five minutes. It should despawn, yeah. The only way to set up overflow protection in a loop is to add more filters. I mean... Yeah, have like just so much storage where that's never going to happen. You could have like shulker unloaders instead of just using chests and just have a whole bunch of shulker boxes that get filled up, destroyed, and then more shulker boxes uh, get put in their place. There's a, there's a few ways to handle it. That's something that I'm going to have to figure out though, like when I actually get to permanent storage for this, because this is not permanent. It works and it's cool. We're definitely collecting a lot of items. These most are going to be empty for a very, very long time. We'd have to check how much we have by looking at the hoppers directly. We have five feathers now. You can change up the impulse sorter to have an overflow line. I mean, what I'd really need to do if I wanted this to work correctly, like I want, is just on the back here are these item hoppers. So, like this arrow one. As soon as this hopper emits a redstone signal of five or more with a comparator, or we could just go 15. Like when it emits a full redstone signal length. Or just long enough where it brings a redstone down here, we can have a thing where it's just dispensing items out of the chest, right? Like there's ways to do it. It's it's not like super complex. Why can I not? Oh I Oh that's interesting. It doesn't give me a crosshair in these top ones because I can't open these top ones. I didn't know that was a thing. Interesting. Disappointed no witch drops yet? Yeah, I saw witches spawn in here previously, but like this isn't a witch farm. Uh, what do, what do I want? Night vision? Yeah, this isn't a witch farm. So like the amount of witches that are going to be spawning in here is very minimal, but we do get them. See like right there. I'm a witch. <laughs> oh no, I'm falling! Oh no, I'm falling again! I died. Um, also in your real room, you're guessing I'll have a few of each item anyway, so you'll never have a hopper not to get your items. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to set this up. If I'm going to have like a big massive auto sorter for every item, 
I, I probably won't do that. I'll probably have an auto sorter for like all of my farmed items. So like all the mob drops. I do need to set up like a cactus farm. I would like to get the drops from my bees coming over here. So like I could collect all the honey bottles and combs in a centralized location instead of having to go over to the honey farm every time. Um, but I will have to fly back there and like drop off the bottles and stuff, which, which potentially could be pretty annoying. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just leave it as it is. Maybe just set up like a central collection for all the honey. It's a really cool looking farm. Thanks, dude. I have a fluffy helper that wanted to come say hello. Gemma girl, you have a ragdoll too? Oh, that's awesome. Ragdolls are the best. Why am I hearing zombies? Oh, I never lit up the area around me. That must be like on the ground behind the camera. Yeah, I never lit up this area. Supplica cheered 500 hip feed for max hip heart. <laughs> Supplica, thank you so much for the 500 bits. His name is Finn, but he's a bit of a teenager right now. Yeah, Max isn't quite a teenager anymore, but he gets into modes where he's just like zoom, 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 zoom. Needs all sorts of attention, has all sorts of energy. <laughs> Max is probably confused why I'm talking to no one. Uh, I think he knows. I think he knows something's up. He acts a certain way when I'm in here, like, streaming. Like, he'll come in and want attention. He doesn't really do that if I'm not streaming. Or maybe he just knows if I'm in here talking to myself and he comes in and he gets attention. Is there a purpose to the farm in creative or are you just being an idiot? I'm not in creative. If you're saying that because you think I'm in creative mode right now, I'm not in creative. This is my camera account that's in uh, Spectator. Yeah, my, uh, my survival guy is right there. We're in Spectator so we can put our guy in the right spot, monsters spawn in the right spot, and we can kind of inspect what's going on. Yep, this is a mighty fine, mighty fine. Yeah, that's true, first prelude. Like, I built this farm originally in creative to make sure, like, all the dimensions were correct and things were working and everything like that before I built it in survival. Because, like, collecting all these materials and placing all the blocks and realizing something's wrong and then having to remove all that stuff and then recollect the materials, that would be a real pain. Uh, that would not be fun at all. Does having the top part at an angle help with drops or is aesthetics? You're talking about why this isn't squared? It's because the reason it's built this way is because of the way water flows. So you can see the water flows to the edge of these platforms here without running over. So when you drop water on the ground, it makes these diamond patterns. And then I just have this like three blocks away or something like that. So like the mobs can get flushed off. Like if a spider gets flushed off, it won't hit the wall. 
Yeah, it has nothing to do with aesthetics, although it does look pretty cool the way it is. But yeah, it's because there's the diamond pattern from water being placed. Hey, look, another witch. The few and far in between, but we do get them. Yep, this is working pretty good. Let's take a look at our witch drop hoppers real quick. So we just got some sticks there. Another spider eye came through. Oh yeah, witches drop feathers too, right? It looks like we got a bottle. We won't be collecting those things very much, but like if I do an overnight AFK session, we will be collecting them. Gemma Girl just subscribed. Gemma Girl, thank you so much for subscribing. Would you get more witches if you built this in a swamp? Uh, no. But you can make a farm out of a witch hut. There's a very specific small area. You can get like three spawning floors in like the small little area of a witch hut. And like, depending on how you position your guy and light up the caves and stuff like that around it. You can make a pretty efficient witch farm out of one of those, but if you're looking for like gunpowder and stuff, this like an all-purpose mob farm generally is the way to go. You can make creeper only farms, but in my opinion, like if you're going to be farming stuff, you might as well just farm it all. Yeah, you can also get it out of raid farms too. So many creepers in here. Oh, why is there string there? Why is that not getting picked up? Oh, did I not put a hopper in the very center? You know what? I didn't, did I? I forgot to put a hopper there. Huh. Tear the whole thing down. Start over. Screwed it up. Tear it down. Let's fix that. Because I had scaffolding running up the direct center of that, and I remember removing the scaffolding and putting in the fence gate, but yeah, I did not put the hopper above the fence gate. Let's fix. I turn off mob farm. I'm confused. The hopper timer just moved over and then I heard buckets flush, but this was already a redstone line. Where'd the bucket flushing happen from? Oh. I understand because this is power 14 from this lever powering this block right here when this powers off then this is 15 so does that mean like part of the farm is off and part of it is on now it does mean that oh that's something I didn't consider hmm Hmm. That's a problem. I'm going to have to fix this. I thought that lever was like... I, like, the lever works if I wait for the mob farm to get flushed out. Like, if I wait for the water to turn on and then I turn that lever on, then everything's fine. Now everything should be on. Okay, so we don't have any mobs in here anymore. We're good. Just waiting for these things to get flushed through. 
All right, so let me go grab a hopper. Mm, let's see. I need some scaffolding. Now we should be good. Take it to the next Redstone hoppers. Oh, I didn't put the scaffolding away. So we can turn this back on. How do you type the TM thing on PC? Like that. Uh, you hold down alt and it's zero one five three. All right, well, I think we're good here. I don't think there's really much else I need to do. I guess we can rip out this redstone thing since we're not using this anymore. We discovered this isn't worth it. It's really too bad. I wanted it to be clever and I wanted that to be worth it. I'm just gonna go park my camera account like right here, I guess. Let's go tear out that redstone since that's not gonna be used. I don't think I have enough inventory for all these things. I no, I don't have inventory for that torch. Got it. What an issue with Minecraft inventory? That's unheard of. I know, right? Like literally nobody's ever said anything about that before. That's why Mojang has never done anything about it. Cause literally nobody's ever complained about it. I'm sure if people complained about inventory in Minecraft, Mojang would be right on top of it, taking care of that issue stat. good i think we're good i think we're good we have a oh i left a, a shulker up there and i probably should put some light up there too what's the light levels looking like up here and over here is a problem 
And then for symmetry, I will just add it on this side as well. Oh, we had more mob drops. Who dares do this? <sighs> okay. Okay. It's gonna be like that, is it? It's gonna be like that, is it? Where? That's a zombie. Where? I just see zombies everywhere. How did. Where did this happen from? I think he spotted us. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. It's da danger zone out here. There's a creeper. There's a creeper literally right behind me. Oh my goodness. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. You have to repeat. Turn that off. I wonder how long they've been there watching me. Ha ha ha! Get phantom, suckers! <laughs> Whoop! No, I don't know. Hello? Hello, Hypno? Hello? 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 Hypno? Ow! Oh! I died! I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate to... I'm fortunate to <laughs> I died. I'm dead. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you dare die. Died. <laughs> Hypno, I don't even have a bow, so don't shoot me. It was that, that guy who shot you. Mm -hmm. I don't well, even own a bow. <laughs> You don't even own a bow? I think there's a phantom no. right, right there. Oh! <laughs> One of these times you're gonna hit this like phantom. phantom. I'm not gonna hit the phantom. <laughs> oh, you got me. Oh. Wow, you know what? I, no, that is rude, XP. I'm gonna be on Hypno's side now, from now on. Yeah, thanks, Corralis. <laughs> Why can't I fly? Okay, you can't really fly with a pork chop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flying with a pork chop. <laughs> What are you guys up to? Maybe no. Get, oh. get him. Get him. I can't. He's too wily. Right. I can't get him. He's glitching. I know. I glitching. Wall hacks. There it is. Ow. There we go. I think I'm dead. Him. I'm going to die. Yes. You're already dead already. Oh, there's a zombie. Dead. Now oh, it's all raining. It rains. Ooh. So, yeah. What are you guys up to? That looks... Uh, not much, not much. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, XP's been helping me with, with a little bit of stuff. Uh, as a professional Minecraft YouTuber, uh, there's stuff I haven't done in 12 years. Uh, so, so yeah, he was just helping me. Stuff you haven't done in 12 years? Well, stuff I haven't done ever in Minecraft. Oh. Uh, first time ever stuff. Oh, wow, you look beautiful. Thanks. Hi. Hey, Sleep. What, what, you, what you have to do? Uh, doing a little bit of a live stream, just working on my mob farm, trying to get a sorting oh. system set up. You're streaming and that guy just interrupts you with, with bone Yeah, I know, That's right? so rude. I That's know. Switch. That's the whole point. Hi, 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 Twitch. Is it Twitch? It is. It's Twitch, right? It is. Hi, Twitch. I'm sure they all say hello Twitch back. His, his chat loves me, so. <laughs> is that true? That's very true. Tell him, chat. Stra straw poll, straw poll, straw poll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> straw poll if they, they love XP or not. Yeah, a big no in caps and a small no, no caps. Can't you just do like mm -hmm. a poll in the chat? I don't know how this works. I'm a poll. Ooh. Poll. But I can't be in your chat. There it is. Do you love XB? Yes, no. Uh, there we go. Right duration, one minute. You got one minute to vote. Of course. 
Volt não! Volt não! Volt não! <laughs> Dude, like, why? What have I done? Oh, He's wow, telling people that. to vote no and that he jump ship to the other the, the enemy's side. No, I'm on your side. Uh, Here I, I am helping you do stuff and then you jump in ship and siding I, with Hypno. There's no ship to jump. <laughs> <laughs> there is. <laughs> what do you think we were just getting stuff for? <laughs> the ship. <laughs> oh. So oh, far wow. the poll is 29% that they don't love you, that they hate you. And what's the percentage that do? It's seventy-two percent oh, don't like you and twenty-eight percent do. Wow, that's mean. See, Corrala, see what you you did. I'm not responsible for this. You 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 as, told as, them to as, say as no. You lay your bed. That's how you sleep. <laughs> no, you told them to say no. <laughs> I said yes clearly. I got it on tape. So just rewind it and watch it. Because I oh, didn't. I'm gonna said rewind yes. it. I'm gonna put it on repeat. All right. So actually, seventy-three percent say they love you. Of course. Well, of course. Now those those. I think those that is manipulated. Seven percent. We need to have a chat. Stop! Hey, count! Stop! Hey, count! Oh Stop. no! <laughs> <laughs> I want to demand a recount. <laughs> we won by a lot. <laughs> by big <Manipulated>. numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big <Biggie> numbers. <laughs> Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm out of here. Have fun, guys. Have fun. Uh, Ace B, All right. come, come down yeah, here. I'm going give with me, you. Give, 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 give me We're a kiss. We're going oh, that way. Go me. Okay, okay. We can yeah. kiss later. Right. Bye, Hypno. Have fun streaming. Have yeah, fun. Bye. Bye. Bye, Hypno's chat. That likes me Bolt, better than no. Hypno. Bye. Bolt, wow. No. Bolt, no. Wow. No, Hypno, you know what? I'm staying because that is so rude. We finally got rid of that him. Yes. Hi. <gasps> He's back. back. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't stop talking about him. He might hear us. <laughs> Count the vote. Okay, go. <laughs> bye, Hypno. Have fun streaming. Bye bye. Uh, this button, this button. It snowed up here. Since when can it snow on glass? Since when can it snow on glass? This is not cute. Not cute. All right, let's go check on the honey. Probably got a bunch of honey bottles all up in there. We go to food and then I'm not sure what we're going to do next. Whoa, I almost just killed myself. Corrales is awesome. I agree. I like Corrales. He's a good guy. Oh, actually, there's far fewer bottles in here than I was expecting. I thought with the amount of work that we had been doing over there, actually these other farms, I think these are probably going to be a little bit more. Not by much. Not even worth. Not even worth it. Not even worth it. All my stuff. Okay. I was thinking that we were going to be at least a double chest on those, but no, we are not. So, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? So, I'm going to be getting a lot of gunpowder. Which means, if I'm going to make TNT, I'm going to need sand. We have collected a lot of sand on stream previously, but I have turned all of that sand into glass. Mm. Squeak. Doot, 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 doot. I can put this glass back. Yeah, I'm not sure if I actually have any sand. Let's head back to spawn base real quick and take a look. Whoop, that was a tree. Yeah, I want to set up a cactus farm and like a um, cocoa bean and. Like, there's a lot of farms that I want to set up so I can start collecting all the dyes to make candles. I don't think we're going to do that today. That's something that we do need to do. Maybe I'll I'll make, like, one farm per YouTube video or something. I, I don't know how I'm going to do this just yet. 
Oh, Aaron, smile! Thank you so much for the 1500 bits! Aaron underscore smile cheered 1500 for both you and Max smile. Thank you. Well, that's very nice of you. Um, chest can be put away, and then stone cutter can be put away as well. Right, so I wanted, what was I looking for? I was looking for something. We came back here to do sand. I have a little bit of sand. Let's go collect three shulkers of sand. Let's do it. Is it, is it five sand to four gunpowder? Or is it four gunpowder to five sand? I can never remember. I feel like it's only four gunpowder and it's more sand. It's the other way. So I need four boxes of sand to five boxes of gunpowder. Okay. We go sand mining, guys. Let's do it. I have extra shulkers in here. You can make a place where you put signs with all the farms you need to do and then make one per episode. Yeah, that's that's actually a great idea and something that I should do. Mm -hmm. That involves planning and that's something that I haven't actually been doing too much. Nether laggy. Why nether laggy? Yellow 16. Yellow 16. Whoop. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's no way I survived this. Oh my goodness. I'm so dead. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this tunnel needs to be adjusted a little bit. Good to know. Yeah, Joe has been busy with the nether tunnels. He's been doing a lot of that on stream. Why oh, is there a creeper in the nether? We don't talk about that creeper, okay? Thanks. That's one of Scar's creeper costumes that's on an armor stand, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just being silly, by the way. Time to eat. Guys, how much sand collecting have we done on stream? And I haven't even done any concrete yet. Like, it's all been for glass. Goodness. Is it possible to put a leash on a creeper? I think you can only do that with friendly mobs. I don't think it works on hostile mobs. Why not trade for glass? Because that means that I'd have to make a whole bunch of villagers and a trading hall and that kind of stuff. And uh, I need the sand before I'd be done with that. Well, I say need. I don't need the sand. It's more of a want. Yeah, one of the reasons why I want the mob farm is for gunpowder so we can make TNT and then we can go to the nether, have fun, finally get uh, netherite. Not that we need it, but it's something to do and it's fun to do. Just using TNT to make explosions and all that kind of stuff. It's usually a good time, but it's not a necessary thing. But neither is making a mob farm, so... <laughs> XB is awesome, just saying, says XB. Hmm. If you saw the poll in my chat, I think my chat begs to differ. 70% 70 per, 70 didn't like you. <laughs> Doc M has a sand shop? Oh, that's cool. 
Hypno has a shovel and a desert. You can boat a creeper and leash a boat. That's how you move creepers. You can actually leash a boat. I don't think I knew that before. On Xbox, anyways. You're talking about Bedrock? You're not even talking about real Minecraft. That's not even real Minecraft. That's like fake Minecraft. Whoop. Bunny! Bunny! <laughs> it's real to you? I'm a real Minecraft! That was a close call. The bun could have killed me. I agree. It was coming right for me. It was self-defense. Can you suggest something, Hypno? I mean, sure, I guess. Sand, sand, sand. How did those rabbit parts get in my inventory? Weird. Very, very weird. I was watching Doc's video today. He set up like a turtle farm. And like when the, or he set up a, uh, a scoot farm and like when the baby turtles grow up, they go on like vacation. Like first there's a baby turtle and then like it grows up and drops its scoot. And then like the adult turtles just disappear. It's really weird. Continue the vibe of the entrance of the base with paths around. Looks amazing. Would also bring character in life. You're talking about to my base, like having the path from the nether portal continue on around the rest of the base. That's kind of the idea that I want to do, but I can't really lay out the paths until I know where things are going to go and like what the level of the terrain is going to be. So I feel like the paths are probably going to be one of the last things that I put in. And unless I spend a bunch of time in creative, and like pre-design like basically everything but yeah i did plan on connecting all the buildings and stuff with the path system at one point in the future all i heard when you said i'm a real minecraft is i'm a real boy mm -hmm. yeah that's like a pinocchio reference right But yeah, that's in the plans. I agree. I think it would look really good as well. Yeah, I don't want to have to like build the paths around and then realize that I'm adjusting the terrain and like now like the path is two blocks below the grade or, you know, four blocks above it or, you know, whatever is going to whatever it's going to end up being. Um, so I kind of need to know where my buildings are going to be before I start designing the paths around. That's why I haven't done it yet. But yeah, that's definitely in the works for sure.
Oh yeah, he was getting the scoots for turtle master potions. Yep. Why are we grinding for? I just set up a mob farm to collect gunpowder. In order to do anything with the gunpowder, you need sand. Well, sand or, uh, sugar cane. I also need to set up a sugar cane farm. But right now we are collecting about four shulkers worth of sand so we can make some TNT. For a future fun and excitement. Because who doesn't need a shulker of TNT? There is not a TNT shop on the server, is there? Maybe that's what I should do. I know Jevin tends to do that. But if I do it first, haha, I can be the TNT master. That means I'm going to have to shovel a whole bunch of sand. There's some good music. I agree. A lot of the Monster Cat tracks are really good. So did you guys know, I found this out from watching one of Azuma's videos recently, that when they added in like the lush caves biome, they made the biomes 3D, right? So like, uh, there can be lush caves down below the further down you go or whatever. So like, it's not always desert from top to bottom, but they also made it so those biomes, like this desert kind of like goes a few blocks over into this one. And then like whatever this is like plains or savannah kind of comes over uh a different height level so they kind of like mix and match i thought that was kind of interesting so now like when you're digging out desert the sand how it's kind of like going into these blocks around over here that's because it's like desert biome right there i guess and like this is more savannah at these blocks i don't know it's kind of like, it's cool stuff. It doesn't really matter, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, but like, it's kind of cool to know that like, the biomes kind of like intermingle, not at just a hard line anymore. Yeah, they kind of mesh into each other. Yeah, that's, that's the better way of saying that. I didn't know that was a thing until I saw Zuma's video where he was making a, uh, was it a drown farm or something? Or a squid farm? I don't remember what he was making. But I remember him talking about that. I was like, oh... That's pretty cool. All these new fangled things in Minecraft. Back in my day, we had cobblestone and we liked it. Now get off my lawn. <laughs> I remember one of the first bases that I made in Minecraft, like first time playing it. I like dug into a mountain and then I dug all the blocks of my base and replace some cobblestone because it was different. And I could prove that I actually mined those blocks. So stupid. Like back then it seemed cool, but yeah, I remember like explicitly going through removing all the stone and replacing with cobblestone. Do you guys ever do anything like that? Like in your first worlds? Anything you look back on, you're like, oh, why did I do that? I remember like in the last live stream, I was showing um, my old mushroom farm, whatever, which was inside my base. And like we saw that spawner. It was just like a one wide spawning area for skeletons out of a skeleton spawner. Just like, oh, face palm. If only I knew then what I knew now. You remember when you had to back up your world like every five minutes, otherwise you could get corrupted. Hypno, if you are interested, there's a 50 minute talk about Minecraft new generation and how it's implemented on YouTube. Is this like from Mojang? 
Or like one of the devs. Not officially from the dev? I don't understand. What do you mean not officially from the dev? I mean, it's not officially from Mojang, but it is from a developer? You can link it? Uh, you can tweet it to me. Yeah, only subscribers are allowed to post links in the chat. Otherwise, the bot will get you. But you can tweet it to me, and I'll check it out after the stream. I mean, either way, I'll check it out after the stream, but... You love Lush Caves? So many brick... Yeah, the Lush Caves, like, they really made it so clay is not something that you need anymore with all the Lush Caves around, that's for absolutely sure. They really... <sighs> we were talking about this, I believe, last stream. Where they added the fact that you can take the mud blocks and then use dripstone to, like, drip the water out of it and turn it into clay. But like, it's so pointless with how much clay that's in the Lush Cave biome. You had to leave for a little bit. Hypno was working on the mob farm. What happened at the moment? Yeah, you got answered in chat, but you didn't read that. We basically got the mob item sorter completed. The mob drop sorter completed. And now we're collecting sand so we can use TNT. All right, use the gunpowder to make TNT. Yep. This will, like, we're going to use the TNT on another stream. We're not going to do anything with it today, but we're here mining today. We'll probably use that TNT uh, to find ancient debris, ancient debris in the future. Debris. You'd rather spend four hours making an infinitely working farm than mine clay for 30 minutes? You don't know why? I mean, I guess it really depends. Like, if you're making, like, a stupidly large brick build, maybe that's the best way to go, but... I've never personally needed that much brick. I believe it is a better alternative, though, like, being able to do that than use villagers. I don't really like having to use villagers for resources. Not that I find it cheaty, it's just like so much setup. But I guess if like you've already set up like a villager trading hall and then you need something that your villagers can already produce, that's cool. Like glass, for instance. But if you're setting up like a big trading hall specifically for just one item, it's just like, oh. You forgot the ambush by XB and Corrales before starting to dig sand. That's true. That's true. They did ambush me. Or at least, at least XB did. You need to feed the cats BRB? All right. Have good cat feeding. I feel like I should just kill this water and then just remine this later. Whoop. 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 Things are happening. The trading hall impulse has is really nice. Yeah, I saw that. He's got a button where he can, like, send a villager away and then, like zombify it and then like the system waits for that villager to return 
It's a pretty smart way of doing a villager trading hall, something that I never considered before. But pretty much the way that I do villager trading is I just take villagers and just cure them all, zombify them and like cure them all to begin with. Just do it like four or five times. And then like lock in the, the book trade or whatever I'm doing. Can we see how much stone you have mined? Sure. 286,660. At least more than one piece of stone. Almost 50,000 deep sleep. It's a lot of deep sleep. Especially since deep sleep cannot be instant mined. That's a lot of stone. Yeah, it was under 250,000, I think. And then uh, Jevin asked me to help with his mountain project. And then I dug a whole bunch. And then we decided that we we're just going to like TNT everything. Oh, this is nasty. Yeah, I don't know what's considered, like, a large amount of stone. Like, obviously, digging that much is a lot, but, like, is that just a lot for me, or is that a lot for, like, everyone? Do people, like, some of, like... Do some people have, like, a million stone mined? Like, I don't really know. Like, the area that I dug out was obviously pretty large, and it took me, like, 20 hours to do. But I definitely wasn't going for, like, the most stone anybody's ever dug in the history of Minecraft ever, period. MP's at 420.69. Nice. You said a bunch of funny numbers. No oh, water everywhere. Oh. You can't wait to see what Jevin does with that space. What is one thing you want to do in Minecraft, but you never had enough time to do it? I would... I would like to make one of those uh, Minecraft... Was it ALUs? Is that what they call it? Basically, an ad, like an adding computer kind of a thing. Just to say that I've done it before. Not that I'm trying to invent something new, but like just making one. How's that water not going away? Oh, it's like there's still source blocks over there. I see.
you're planning on making Tetris Redstone projects in your survival world? Yeah, pretty much any sort of like a redstone game or whatever. Something that could be enjoyed. But like... Redstone's cool and everything, but it's not like you can really show... People like seeing the result of redstone. People don't like seeing redstone being done. They like seeing what you can do with it. They don't like seeing you do it. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, I felt like the little bit of redstone that we did like towards the start of the stream today was a bit too much. It wasn't too crazy, but like it was a lot of like, is this gonna work? Maybe that maybe I should try this. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. And that's the kind of stuff where like viewers' eyes just start glazing over. I feel like if I'm ever gonna like really do redstone on camera, I really should just have a plan, like. Already have pre-built it, know exactly what I'm gonna do, etc. etc. So that's pretty much why I don't really do a whole lot of redstone on camera. Like I will build a circuit and I will like figure it all out in creative mode. And then like, you might see me build it in like a time lapse or something like that, but I'm definitely not like what you would consider a redstoner. I don't have like a bunch of different things, a bunch of different redstone components memorized that I can just whip them out at any time. I do know enough to like get me by for most stuff, but I'm not, I'm not an expert. Durability? It's fine. Are you one of those people that tells, like, a streamer to eat when they're down, like, half a hunch? <laughs> oh my god, you can eat! You better eat right now! Eat! Eat! You're gonna die! Do do do. Huh, I must be getting botted right now. I'm like the the follow window is just being spammed. Yeah, I'm definitely being follow botted right now. I was probably like 500 follows in just the span of 30 seconds. Not that that really matters anything, it just inflates my numbers, but not like it's a bad thing i guess unless unless they're following so they can get past the uh 10 minute follower mode pearl trolled their chat the other day but pushing a pick to wonder ability no now if you're gonna properly troll your chat if you're gonna properly do that you just keep using your pick until it breaks and then everybody loses their mind But we've been telling you! Rawr. She's done that before too. That's what I like to hear. That's the kind of content creation I live for.
The, the amount of water that's under here is annoying. Are we good? I think we got all the sand from this little area that I was mining out. Ooh, oh no, that's a, that's sandstone. Let's take a look. We. Oh, I missed that. And there's like all of this stuff that somebody flattened out. What the heck? I fall down. Eat! Do I ever get bored with building? No. The only thing that I really get bored with is trying to come up with new ideas and new projects to build because I don't find myself having that come easy to them. Like, I can't just take a whole bunch of blocks, be like, oh, if I put these together, this is going to look real nice. Like, it's, it's difficult. And that's the kind of stuff that I find hard to do is coming up with actual, like, good-looking things. But the actual building portion i don't find too bad at all What are we up to today? Uh, we were working on the mob farm earlier, like putting in an actual sorting system. And then we got trolled by XP and Corrales. And then I decided I wanted to come mine some sand since we are collecting, since we are collecting gunpowder, I want to be able to make TNT. So we are over here collecting sand and we have just wrapped on that. That is not where I'm going. Where am I? Over here? Over her? Oh no, I got lost! I never get lost. Must be the other side. Must be over here. Found it. Do I have a YouTube also? I do. Yep. Same username on YouTube. You can find it in the about live stream info section as well. Smash that subscribe button. That's right. Smash it. You remember when Hypno used to be hypnotized underscore? I don't. I blocked that out of my memory. Give me that. Give it all to me. It is one of Scar's Creeper costumes. Yep.
Who built the Underman farm this season? It was uh, Wells and Ijevan. It's still under construction. And it's been under construction since the start of the server. I don't think they're doing anything else. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that nothing else is happening to this farm. It happens like literally every time. I guess because I'm flying into the, the portal. I don't know. I guess that's probably what's happening. It's funny either way. Alright, so sand. Yeah, we can kind of like consolidate two of these. Oh. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, rip. No, oh, I guess we have four anyway, so this is just extra. No, we needed five. No, we needed four. It was five gunpowder to four sand. So we have enough. It's fine. Uh, all right, Immortal. We'll catch you later, dude. Thanks for stopping by. You have faith that Wells will finish it someday? Yeah, I hope he um I hope he takes care of whatever is going on in his real life and he's able to get back on the server. Oh show. I think we're gonna call it here though, guys. Do we have any other hermits streaming? Nope. I am literally the only hermit that's streaming. Bum, 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 bum. Guys, we're going to wrap the stream up here today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Appreciate your guys' support. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that follow button. You can follow me on YouTube as well. You can find me over on hermitcraft.com. However you guys want to uh, want to find the channel. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and send a raid over to Skizzleman. If you guys want to follow along with the raid, that would be cool. But we are out of here for today. Take care, everybody. Thanks for the support. See you next time.